Hello everybody, welcome to snippet number 20. Snippet number 19, I actually added some glossy accents here and I've added some glossy accents on the threes, which you probably can't see in the, oh, the, there you can a little bit. I've added some glossy accents and I added an extra house in white on the top, just so that you can see the extra little details. So a little bit of glossy accents added and an extra house. So that was snippet 19. So we're now going to work on snippet 20. So I'm going to begin by using my stencil 158 teardrop. Same size card as always, four by six. I'm going to begin by inking the stencil with some ink. Where have I put that ink? Do you know, don't put it down. So I'm going to use the prize ribbon once again. And we're just going to add ink directly over the stencil. Just wipe up any ink underneath. And then I'm going to spritz the stencil with water. You can spritz the card if you wish. If you've got any ink around the edges here, just wipe with a piece of kitchen roll and then you won't get that straight edge. And then just place your stencil down onto your card. Let's use a piece of kitchen roll just to allow that ink just to sit on there. The longer you can give it, the better because it'll absorb into the card and you get a beautiful print. You're obviously going to get a second generation print so you can spritz that again and get a second generation print. Obviously, because I'm doing a snippet, there isn't time for second generations, but you're at home, so you can do a second and third generation print. I've got one here that is now dry, which is beautiful. And I'm then going to use my Bulb Gazette stamp, which is 907. And I'm going to use some grey ink. So I'm going to use Versafine Claire Morning Mist and I'm just going to dab just sort of randomly and I'm just going to add a little bit of stamping randomly. And you know how I've said to you before to sort of bend the stamp so it just is a little bit more random stamping. So you, it's just a little bit more random and it works beautifully when you've done some stenciling underneath, if you stamp quite randomly. We can decide if we want to add any more when we've got our composition together. But look how it appears just below that stencil, even though it isn't, it's on top. Okay. What I want you to do then is I'm going to take my violet stamp which is stamp 574 and I'm going to stamp this three times with Versafine Claire black ink just making sure I've got the right one and I want you to ink this and stamp it three times you don't need to see me stamp it three times but it is nice to see the image stamped out Okay, so there's our beautiful violet. And what I want you to do is cut out three of your images. I've just cut out parts of the image, one full one, a little bit of one, and part of one. It's entirely up to you how much you cut out of that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use stamp set 403. And I'm going to use the... thimble oh, could I get that word out so I want you to stamp the thimble or whatever you're using and again that's going to be used with the black nocturne ink and then you can just drop it but you're going to cut those out so that you've got those pieces together and then what you do is you lose your background that you've just created because you can't find it anywhere because you put it on one side. 
Right, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to place my little thimble down first. Give that a little, don't give it too much dimension. Remember, it's got to go in to your little gym. Or what it hasn't, some of you might not be doing that. So what I'm going to do is just stick maybe two of the flowers. I don't need to stick it all down because I like some movement. So let's just... Mm. Yeah. So I'm just... I haven't stuck... I'm bending here the card, that's it. So I haven't stuck all the flowers down. I've just stuck two of the flowers down. Let's bring this down here. Then what I'm going to do is take the other piece that I've got. And again, I'm just going to just add a little bit of adhesive to the flowers. I'm not adding it to the finest parts because they will stick down with the adhesive that's at the back of my quirky pot. And then I'm going to take this little one that I've just cut out part of. I've literally not cut it all out. I've just got one leaf. And I can just push the stem. There we go. That's it, just so that you can see. We've got that on there. Just gorgeous. And what we can do is we, I've cut out a couple more leaves and I can just add a couple of the leaves, if I wish, just to give it a little bit more fullness to the design. Okay, then what I'm going to do is take the Distress Oxide Prize Ribbon, which I have to keep looking at the colour because I actually forget what colour I'm using. Yes, that's me all over. So I'm going to pick up and load my brush with the prize ribbon. And I'm just going to add a little bit of blue. Now what I want you to do is just take your time when you're doing yours. What I want you to do is just add a little touch of the blue. We can blend that out later so just add that little touch of blue and it's lovely if you can let the color dry and then just add a little bit more a little bit more depth and some clean water is often a good thing so you can just blend that color out try not to call it the whole um violet so that all the flower is colored you just want a little touch of that blue just watered out but just so that you can see plenty of that white okay, let me just show you and then roll your brush through the the ink just so you can see plenty of that white I'm just going to then add, which we're hoping it's here, just a little bit of grey. Just hold that still. Just a little bit of grey underneath my thimble. Let's just clean that brush. There we go. And just bring that down a bit. And just add a little bit of shading just obviously when you're doing yours you can let yours dry and then you can add the shading a little bit more shading needed that's it I'm just i just think the shading's important because it just adds a little bit of depth Sometimes difficult to see in camera. Right, let's just... And then I've got one flower just sort of cut out 
on its own. So I've just cut this out on its own. So I'm just going to then just add some of this blue. Make sure you've got a little bit more depth at the centre and then drag out a little bit extra of that blue. Just going to add a little flower just down the bottom here as if that's fallen. Just add that down the bottom just so that you can see that. Just so it looks like that's for I absolutely love this violet. Oh, just gorgeous. Let's just move that because we've moved that slightly and that will absolutely play with my head. That's it. And then I've used the quill ends. You know, a favourite stamp of mine. The quill ends 908 and I've cut the little beard out. So we've got the little beard here. And I'm going to add the little beard just onto my arrangement. Oh, I love this. Let's just push that up. So this is Snippet 20. Let's just clean some of this up so we don't get in a mess. Let's add some white splatters. Sometimes when you look at things in real life, they're so much better. Now make on this occasion, make sure you've really got your Posca paint pen flowing just so that the ink really is running out of that pen. So make sure it's really running out of that pen, just so that you can see. Just absolutely adore that. So then what I'm going to do is take the word Violet, which is from the state, same stamp set, Violet 574, Move that out of the way. My hands are a disgusting colour, but we'll worry about that later. So I'm going to stamp that violet. And we'll just cut that out. Then we'll just check our time, which is getting. Then we'll use our Posca black pen just to add a black edging, just to finish it off a little bit. And then we'll just move that out of the way and we'll just clean up because I'm paranoid. And then we've got the word violet. And then you can decide exactly where you want to put that. But don't add too much dimension. I'm going to add mine there. Oh, I love this one. And that is Snippet 20 done. All I would say to you is, when this is all dry and it's solid, go back and add some more blue and then some touches of white with your gel pen. So just add some touches of white with your gel pen just to the centres. So I hope you enjoyed that. I absolutely love this one. So that is snippet 20 just so that you can see that so love to all and i'll see you all soon bye for now